go live this morning and challenge myself because a few people have been saying I haven't been on YouTube for ages and they were right. I hadn't and I've been hiding because I've been doing so much work behind the scenes um, to change my life inside out. I have been doing everything I can to upgrade my life and to put myself into a place and to basically, you know, commit to myself on another level. And it's been really strange doing this. But I currently am in London and I'm going to go to Ibiza tomorrow and I'm gonna sign and pay for a house that I'm securing for a very long term kind of contract. And it is the biggest commitment and permanent move I've ever made to myself. Now I, I have moved so many times. I'm um, 37, 26 if anyone asks. Um, and I've moved 35 times in total, which is an awful lot. And I have moved with my suitcase all the time. People know me as this nomad that's going around everywhere. And I'm fed up of moving like that. I'm fed up of being with a suitcase and going here, there and everywhere. I want to ground, I want to commit to myself, I want to do what's right for me, I want to show up, I want to take personal responsibility, I want to be the best I can be and I need to commit to myself in a massive way to do that. And I have been doing that, I've, I've really, really taken a leap this time and this move that I've got to Ibiza um, is going to be huge. I'm going to take my team with me for the summer and I am totally at the mercy of God. I don't really know what's going to happen. All I know is the place and that I'm taking the film crew and we're going to go and see what happens and I have a plan of, you know, a very methodical plan of kind of what I need to do business-wise but in terms of life, my life always goes in a million directions. So I don't fully know what's going to happen but I'm willing to take a risk and I had a chat with a friend this morning about taking risks and what I wanted to do and I know I have an amazing network of incredible people around me and I want people to see all of those amazing, talented people in my life because if they did, people would have as much faith in humanity as I have. And I wanna showcase that, I wanna put out as many of these eccentric, crazy, beautiful souls that I have in my network out to the world and showcase them. So I've been building a TV platform and it's called I Am Sound TV and we um, really have so much content to show and it's basically capturing the rise of the spiritual movement and where better to do that than in Ibiza. There's so many people in Ibiza that are as wacky as I am or there's loads of black sheep of the family who are over there that I can film and that we can do interviews with and content with who are doing incredible things to showcase what I mean in terms of the rise of the, the spiritual movement, the global shift in consciousness because people are waking up, people are becoming more, they're realising they're so much more um, than they ever thought they were, that there's a different you know, path in life that they can take. There's, for the way I see it, there's, there's two paths that people often think are the same and they're not. There's a personal development path and then there is a spiritual path. And your personal development path is not your spiritual path. And the difference between the two is your personal development is based on your podcasts that you listen to, it's like the therapy you get, it's the trauma work, it's the showing up, you know, doing the books, doing the workshops, all these things that we go to, that we pay for, that we find ourselves going to. And that's improving you personally, it's helping you, but your spiritual path is actually, it has nothing to do with books or to do with workshops or to do with other teachers, as it were, you know, and having to pay for a spiritual path. It's nothing to do with the ayahuasca and the, and the medicine and all of that kind of stuff or how many times you get on a yoga mat. Your spiritual path is building up absolute faith and trust in yourself and in something bigger than yourself. So whether you call that God or source or whatever you call it, but it's actually having faith where you can't see the result, but you go anyway. It's, even when it's going right, everything's going wrong and you're like, oh my God, you trust, you have faith and you have trust that something is working out with the highest good in order. And you may not know all the details, but you don't try and control it, you don't try and manipulate it, you don't try and talk your way around it or you know, read through it or podcast through it. You ground yourself, you surrender, you trust yourself in the process and you let go. You let it be and you let life take over and you surrender. And when you surrender, 
this beautiful energy can step in. When you clear your space and you clear your field and you get rid of all the things that are blocking you, this surrendering and this life always wants to come to every single one of us. It's not about having to learn to manifest. It's about clearing the field to make way for what's truly right for you. And I'm currently sat here today in London. It's a bit drizzly outside and I'm waiting for some friends to go for lunch. And I've been processing my feelings and I've been going through how I feel and I thought, what shall I do with this feeling other than just sit here? And I, I thought, I'm just gonna go live on YouTube. This is exactly the kind of content that's real, it's rare, it's raw, it's not manipulated, this is not filtered, this is not, you know, there's nothing other than me here right now. And I don't feel so comfortable. I don't feel like everything's amazing. What I do feel like is I'm going through a process and it's difficult sometimes and it's hard and I have to trust in things that I can't see. I'm making commitments. There's little things here and there that could go wrong. There's lots of things that are happening in the world that are sad and that are, you know, that are not great. But the way I look at it is I can't change any of that. I can just be present with myself and I can be present with my feelings and I can be present with, you know, with everything that's coming up for me and I can hold that space and I can breathe into it and I can see how I truly feel and then I can ride that wave. I can't distract myself, I can't, you know, go and have a drink, I can't do drugs, I can't talk to anyone else. I've been doing the work this morning and it is uncomfortable. Committing to myself is a massive, massive thing. I've been scared of commitment. It's a massive thing for me to do. I've been scared of commitment and committing to someone else. And I thought, if I can commit to myself in a big way like this, and I can truly show up for myself and do it, people might say, oh, yes, it's a villa in Ibiza, you know, that's nothing. Or like, you know, that's not massive commitment to yourself. But it is for me, that's my version of commitment, is I thought I'd probably commit to a man at some point or a family or having a child. None of that has happened yet. So I'm having to learn to commit to me in bigger, deeper ways. How do I upgrade if I don't have a partner? How do I upgrade if I don't have a family? What's the next stage in life? Because at school they teach you that it's, you know, you get a job, you get your education, you get a job, you get a family, you settle down. There's four steps there and I'm like, no, that's not my life. My life is different and that there is a different level of commitment for me. So I have to commit to myself. So this is for me, my biggest commitment is my business and my life and now this house in Ibiza. And it's great, all of my friends are thoroughly behind me and they're all supporting me because they think they're gonna get three holidays in Ibiza. But one person in particular said to me, oh my God, why are you doing that? It's gonna cost so much. You know, have you thought about this? You're going to be stuck. And it was what they were doing were actually projecting all of their fears around money, commitment and finance and everything onto my dream and giving me their version of reality. And I was just like, whoa, I need to stop. No, I've already thought about this. I've analysed it. I've looked through it. I'm making an adult decision based on the facts of what's in my life, but a large amount of trust as well that this is going to go right. And I totally know that what I'm doing, I'm doing for my higher purpose. And it isn't, you know, it's so logical for most people who know me really well that are like, yeah, this is your next move. For some people who don't know me, you'd think that, oh, that's really cool. But, oh, yeah, it's all right for her or whatever it is. You're, whatever somebody feels about me, I'm still going through the motions of uncomfortable feelings, feeling awkward, feeling like, wow, what if it goes wrong? But I have to take the risk anyway because I'm looking for change. I'm looking to move. I'm looking to go deeper. And I can only do that with myself because I don't have a partner and I don't have a family. So I have to do it with my business and with my life and with myself. And I bought this ring the other day. It's like this spine ring, I love it. But I didn't buy it actually, it was a present, sorry, that somebody gave me. It just reminds me of support. It's like I've got, it's a little backbone, it's a dinosaur tail, dinosaur backbone. And it's like having support and having, you know, to support myself and trusting in the people that are around me. And sometimes we don't know what's gonna happen. Sometimes we have no idea what life is gonna chuck our way. And I'm coming on here and I'm like, I'm going on YouTube live. And for the one person that's watching me, hi. But this will be seen by other people afterwards. And I could go on here and go, oh, I'm only gonna talk if I've got X amount of followers, or I'm gonna to need to see, you know, at least 10 followers. If I don't get that, I'm gonna not be on here. My life, I don't want to customise it in that way. I don't want to filter it. I don't want to change. I just want to be me 
when I'm me. I don't want to wait until I get more of an audience just to talk about the things that were difficult. I'd rather talk about it now to very few people about how I really feel and open it up and connect with myself and share it because I know it's not just me that's going through stuff like the world is weird at the moment. So it's about connecting and going deeper and doing all of that with yourself because you have to really. You can't not do it. You can't just stay stale or stagnant and wait for somebody else to come and save you. Like I'm truly saving myself at the moment. I don't know where else I'm meant to be. So I'm making the easiest low and hanging fruit move that I could do, which is Ibiza. And I'm like, I'm going, that's what I'm doing. And this is a huge, huge commitment, but I feel like I've got a lot of support. My new landlord has even given me a kitten. So I was like, I really think I want a cat. And then funnily enough, my new landlord's like, I've got some kittens, would you like one? And I thought, oh, that's a sign. I'm definitely going in the right direction. That is a sign. It's a little black kitten with blue eyes. So I haven't thought of her name yet, but I'm just like, no, these little synchronicities that life shows you behind the scenes, you know, these little things that you can see. You know, I, I wanted this villa and I was like, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna get the money for this villa? What's, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen, you know, to get me there? And I said, God, if I'm meant to take this house that I found, the money will show up. Within 24 hours, the money showed up, the commitment was there, the investment was made into the business and it was done. And I was just like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm meant to take this house. Okay, and it was almost like I wasn't, I was ready, but I kind of doubted it. And then it came through anyway. And I was like, oh shit, and now I've got to go for it. And now everything else is lining up. And even when I go this weekend, so this week I'm flying to Ibiza tomorrow, when I get there, I've got a few more things to sort out when I land and a few more people to see and I've got to sign and I've got to pay for it and, and all of that stuff. But I'm sat here today thinking, oh, all of it could go wrong or it, I could just trust and I could just trust in the process, walk up to it rather than like drag my heels and I could just go and jump off the cliff, not knowing whether anybody's gonna catch me, but seeing if I can fly. And if I can fly, great. If I can't, I'll have learned something <laughs> again. And I just go with it. So that is where I'm at at the moment. And I just decided to go live and share this awkwardness because it's not about being perfect. It's not about everything being right all the time. It's about sharing the awkwardness, the vulnerabilities, the, you know, the lack, and the uncomfortableness and because I know you know other people are going through that too and as I said I don't want to filter my life I want to be very honest and real and have integrity with everything I do and that's hard because sometimes it's really easy not to have integrity like <laughs> so many opportunities in my day that come up where I would just like go oh it'd be so much easier for me to just go <laughs> and and not do the right thing and sometimes you get to places faster when you don't do the right thing, but it doesn't mean that thing's gonna last and it doesn't instill you with confidence and you know, doing things that are out of integrity don't pave the way for abundance moving forward. If you feel you have to lie or cheat or steal or manipulate or bend in order to get somewhere, then you don't have any faith or trust in God. By the very fact that you're doing that, you don't have any trust in a higher power. You feel that you have to take all this extra manipulative control. And this is the problem with the spiritual path. This is the real thing is there's a, there's a trust that you can get out and surrender and don't need to do anything. With the kind of personal development path, it's very much, you can change your mind, you can do this, you can manipulate, you can manifest, you can, and that's great and you can, and you, you know, you actually can do that. But a lot of the times it doesn't bring you the happiness you're looking for, because there's a manipulation that's helped you get there. So I'm looking to trust you know, as much as possible and have as much faith as possible. And trust me, it's not easy surrendering because sometimes you're like, oh God, if I just did it the old way, the old Nat way would have got it done by now, but it wouldn't have necessarily lasted. And the old Nat didn't get me what I want. So those decisions in the past wouldn't have got me here today if I'd have made them. The only reason I'm here today is because I've made good decisions in the past. So the previous version of Nat has made the right decisions to get me here. And that's, you know, that's, I can now look back and say, hey, I trust myself because I've made good decisions in the past and they've worked out and they've got me here today where I'm very calm, 
I'm in a completely different space than I ever was. My nervous system, yeah, it pops sometimes, like, you know, but it's not like popping candy like it used to be. It used to be, God, on the go all the time. But now it's, I listen to my body. I listen to myself. I sit with what comes up. I know my boundaries. I'm aware as much as I can be. Still, I'll get curveballs in life or chuck me things that I wasn't expecting. But I'm aware enough to know and to have the discernment and the observation to be able to stand back and say, okay, what is this? Why is it coming up? And that's really important because before it was like I got bitch slapped and blindsided because I didn't have the awareness. So it did feel like life was kicking me sometimes. When really what was happening is it wasn't the universe kicking me or God not liking me. It was me making a decision in the past that didn't serve me. And I was living the consequence of that decision in the present day because the previous version of me hadn't done it right. And that's the biggest realisation for me is I am the product, and we all are, it's not just me, but I am the product of the environment yeah, that is around me. So if I don't like the product, I have to change the environment. And if the environment's really tricky to change, that's where it's difficult. If the environment's not good and it's hard for you to change your environment, then it's going to be hard. You know, it's going to be, you're going to have to make decisions that are going to be strange and unusual and different to what you've done before. But they'll ultimately be right for you if you do it in the right way, with love and respect and, and with patience. But you don't know that when you begin the journey at all. You just go on this journey and you try and get it right and you fuck it up and you fall down and you bend over backwards for people who don't bend over backwards for you and you get stabbed in the back and then you let people down and then you drop your integrity and then you lie and then you try and manipulate and you control and then you realise that that's not the way and then you feel guilty and there's all these things that can trip us up on our path. But it's not about being perfect. It's just about being aware. And if you're willing to be aware and you have that awareness and you're willing to listen to the awareness that you've got, then you can make better decisions. But I spent years, like, you know, before I'm you know, working on being in Ibiza full time, I spent years wishing for my life to be better, but not actually making actionable steps or changes to get me there, which is really fundamentally the key part, is being present in the moment allows you to make good decisions here today because you're aware. Therefore, what comes in the future is going to be better for you because you've had that awareness and you've made those decisions. So it's a long journey and it's a process, but good decisions for me personally didn't come from alcohol. They didn't come from, you know, all the drugs that I was taking. I had fun, don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun. But all of those decisions were, were bent and were hindered because of what I was doing to myself. So I needed to stop all those things, which wasn't easy. But I do feel as though right now the best thing I ever did was giving up alcohol. The best thing. I ever did was giving up alcohol and if I think about the second best thing and I think alcohol was the worst more than drugs but you know I gave up drugs first but the second biggest thing was giving up social media because you get your time back you get so much time back and I think it's so sick today that we have a platform called TikTok it's literally taking the piss out of stealing your time and people are on it all the time tick tock tick tock tick tock and, and you're wasting all that time and people then attach their egos and their financial sense of self-worth to a tick tock and to their followers and then they're stuck in tick tock and it's so unfortunate and i just feel like i'm so glad i came off social media because it was a trap and i wouldn't be where i am right now if i didn't come off social media that's for sure and now i've built an entire business without social media and I move into Ibiza and I've got an entire television platform and lots of people wanting to know and to you know see what we're doing and to sign up and all without social media. The whole world was built without social media before social media came along. So when people say, how do you do that? And I'm like, um, the same way everyone else did before it started. So it isn't rocket science. It's just about doing things differently. But I've rambled enough now, it's almost 20 minutes and I wasn't sure if I was going to come on for like 5 or 10 minutes and I've obviously doubled that. So thank you for watching, for those of you who are here and um, I hope you have a great Sunday. I'm going to take my ring, my awareness and uh, I'm going to go back and think of what I want for my lunch because that's the most important thing today. Meditation's done, live's done, 
lunch is next. So I will, I don't even know where to put the uh, thing down on here. There we go. We will be over and done with all together. Loving you. And uh, I will see you on the next